the coach, obviously, just uh, you have to quickly turn around from an exciting weekend here against Colorado College, and uh, now the next the next step with the, just the, the playoff atmosphere constantly uh, here uh, in the regular season, go, going down the stretch with critical points on the line. Just talk about uh, trying to just take a one period at a time, even one shift at a time is yeah. important this time of year. Absolutely, I think that's you know just one day at a time and reflect on the, the good things we did on the weekend there and just keep building. I think that's the message right now, finding ways to keep finding little incremental growth opportunities throughout the week and on the weekends and and uh, no different here this weekend. We're heading into an important weekend here and you've got to do everything in your, in your power to prepare appropriately and be ready to go. So Mavs are 6-4 and four in the last 10 games against the Red Hawks, won all four last year. How do you avoid a letdown after such an exciting weekend? Yeah, I think you just have to stick with doing what you've been doing, but also understand the situation you're going into. And I think, like as Terry mentioned, uh, when you have a real successful weekend, sometimes it's it's naturally to take a deep breath and kind of uh, allow yourself to just kind of catch your breath a little bit. And it's important to do that and, and recover, but then also get on to the next task and the next thing in front of you here. So I think that's where all our focus is now is – um, coming out ready to play on Friday night there. And I think our, again, I think just talking to our players, they know, they know that, uh, you know, if they've got a win against Western, they were tied against Nodak, they were tied against Denver. I mean, so it doesn't have to be a rocket science to figure out that they're a good hockey team in a very tough conference. And so I think everybody's uh, knows the challenge ahead of us here and, and uh, we'll be prepared Friday night. Your points percentage is up over uh, 70 over the last three weeks. Uh, what would you say the confidence level of this team is as you go into the series? I think it's been growing. I think it's been growing. Uh, I think when you talk to the guys, they're kind of the ones that are just, you know, you hear their messages on just how we've been playing some pretty good hockey for a long time. And, and there's going to be ups and downs throughout a season. But I think over the majority of the year, it's been a pretty – pretty unbelievable year for what the guys have been able to accomplish. And so I think that just breeds that confidence and that self-belief when you've been there and done that. And and uh, I know, Bridget, you mentioned just all the teams we had beat throughout the year. And sometimes you don't even realize that till you get a chance to catch your breath and look back. And so it was, uh, uh, again, so it's just you got to draw on those past experiences that were well, and but also stay hungry on the, the, the task ahead of us because uh, – as I mentioned previously, you know, it's uh, in this conference, everybody's good and, and you got to be careful just looking at a record because, uh, you know, just the competition they faced as well. Speaking of unbelievable, uh, Simon had a great weekend, got rewarded yeah. with it with some NCHD honors. His growth over the season has just been, I think, what we all hope for. Mm -hmm. What do you see from him coming down this stretch? He's got to, you know, be a big part of the success of the team as we work towards the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. I was so happy for him to have a really strong showing here this weekend there. And and again, it's just like the team, right? You're going to go through highs and lows throughout the season, and there's no way to avoid that in this this game. I guess you could play in another conference or, or uh, you know, do a different sport. But when you're in this environment, um, you're going to have highs and lows. And I think just navigating that's been really good growth for him um, to, you know, to face – some tough situations and, and just continue to learn and grow and improve and and then ultimately to see him get rewarded with an unbelievable weekend was was pretty special so got to soak that in and enjoy that moment he's earned it and then as the team does just keep on you know um, learn from that grow from it um, relish the confidence that you gain from those experience but then also now just continue to move forward and take the actions necessary um, to give yourself a chance to the next weekend at success. Did his uh, duel with Caden and Barico, was that kind of a uh, showcase of uh, still a place for the, the more average high goaltender uh, uh, in the sport of hockey? Yeah, I think you're seeing that again. I think uh, you're seeing that, uh, you know, even at the National League level, you know, I think those, you know, the, the, the just the six foot six have to be six foot six, I think is slowly dissipating a little bit uh, to where some of these, these goaltenders at six feet tall are, are performing extremely well. So, He's right in that category. Both those guys are right. They're they're very good goaltenders. They're very quick. Um, they're very good positionally, and uh, and they're having some great results in college hockey. You mentioned the growth of the team, the continual growth of the team. Where do you feel the last couple of weeks that this team has developed the most? Oh man, I think I think um, knowing our opponent we're playing and 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 probably having to play a certain way to uh, to be successful. I think that's really, you can hear the guys talk about it, right? The game plan and sticking to the game plan. And 
Um, you know, I watched the video on um, North Dakota and CC. You could tell that, you know, you can just see the different styles of play amongst teams. And so I think, you know, whether you're playing a Western or a Denver or a CC or a Miami, there's, you know, certain tendencies of each team. And I think you have to play a certain way to give yourself the best chance of success. And so I think guys are really understanding there's a certain blueprint um, for how we need to play to be successful. And when they start talking about it, that's a good thing.